People always ask me, how do you keep from getting lost? Well, we're going to talk about maps and apps. Hi, I'm Lori Girl, and I'm out there. Because sometimes the trail isn't very easy to follow. I mean, I was on a trail earlier this year that was under several feet of snow. Any signage or trail markers were covered by the snow. The same is true on established trails that haven't been maintained in a while. Signage could be covered by tall grass or new plant growth or just knocked down. Being on trail is fun. Being lost on trail is no fun. Let's talk about apps first. They're basically maps that you download to your phone and then you use them offline while you're hiking. Apps can be very helpful. I've used three different ones. I've used Gut Hook for the long trails like the Appalachian Trail, Pacific Crest Trail. I've used All Trails and I've used Maps 3D Pro. There are a lot of other apps out there. The apps don't need cell service. It doesn't use very much battery power and it's a really easy way to see where you are in real time. There's a couple of really big differences between Gut Hook and the other two that I've tried. Primarily, Gut Hook is going to tell you a lot more. It's going to tell you where your next water source is, where camping is, where a road crosses the trail, what kind of towns are nearby, what are the services like a shuttle service or a taxi. Other users of Gut Hook, they'll give you current information about things along the way. Gut Hook is a fantastic app, but it doesn't cover all the trails everywhere. In fact, it only covers major trails, pretty long trails in pretty big areas. So if you're in a smaller area, all trails or th Maps 3D Pro are excellent apps. I've used Maps 3D Pro myself and I've had friends that used all trails. They work just about the same. It's gonna tell you where you are. It'll name some rivers, some mountain peaks. It'll show you in 3D how steep things are. It'll give you topographical information, but it isn't gonna tell you where the next water source, campsite, hostel, town is, it's not going to tell you any of that. I was on a trail that was covered in snow this spring and we used the Maps 3D Pro and it was a lifesaver. So the next question is why use a guidebook or a paper map? Sometimes you run out of battery power. Sometimes you fall on boulders and crack your phone and it doesn't work like happened to me on the Appalachian Trail last year. I really do like topographical maps but they tend to be heavy and hard to take on trail. So what I do is I take only the detail I need for that trip. I did the same thing on the Appalachian Trail. I definitely used paper guides like AWOL's guide and it was fabulous, but this is a pretty big book. Instead of taking the whole guide with me, I would just literally take the section I needed for a couple of weeks, tear it out, and then mail it back home later. The cool thing about AWOL is it did give you lots of detailed information about each area. You could use it to tell when the next water source was, etc. You could read enough in that guide to have an idea of where you might have got off trail if you were lost. Well, even a little map like this will give you a good idea of where you should be. If you got off trail, it tells you different peaks and rivers and you'd have an idea of how to get back. There are advantages and disadvantages of each. Obviously, on the apps, they're super easy. You're carrying your phone anyway. It can give you a lot of great current information. It can show you with the GPS locator exactly where you are, but it won't work if your phone is broken or your battery's out of power. The paper maps, they can't stay as current. They can't give you as much information about whether or not the next water source is dry, for instance, but they can give you a lot of detail about the terrain you're in. And if you're lost and you know how to read your topographical map, you can find your way out. Maps and apps go hand in hand. The map is your backup if something goes wrong. The app is your easy go-to when everything's going right. Stay safe, have fun, stay on trail. I'm Lori Girl, and I'm out there.